Snippets may be used in RoboHelp to swiftly insert and to globally update boilerplate text. Here we see a typical topic and I've just opened up the snippet tab over on the left hand side. Snippets can be inserted with a simple drag and drop just like this. Notice that the snippet selects as one unit of text because I cannot edit it. Um, it has to be edited in a special way. Also notice that the snippet will display as gray text so that you can see that the text is different. However, it will display normally when you generate a preview as I've done here. Let me go ahead and create one more instance of the snippet. I'd like to actually drag it down underneath this text here. And the reason I'm doing this is so we can make a change and see it glo globally update automatically. In order to edit the snippet, we simply go to the snippet and say edit. As we do this, this will open up a window in which we can make swift changes. And what I'd like to do is just do two simple things. I'm going to change the word caution to all caps. I'm going to change it to italic. And I'm going to add one more item in italic. Now my change won't show up unless I save the snippet. So I need to physically save it. And now as I do this, let's go back to our first topic. Notice, as you can see, that caution is changed to all caps and we have the italic item. This will be a little bit easier to see in the preview mode. And here you can see what I'm talking. We've got the italic and we also have the extra item that was not there before. In addition to creating snippets from scratch, it's also very easy to create a new, new snippet by capturing text from your content. And this is really terrific because as you, as you import text for policies and procedures, etc., you can swiftly turn them uh, portions of it into a snippet. In this case, you'll see I've selected a line followed by a bulleted list. All I have to do is go down and say add to snippet, give it a name. I'm going to call this collateral. You can add some type of a description if you wish. And you also can control the appearance by selecting specific, um, excuse me, specific um, style sheets. In this case, I'm actually just going to go ahead and use the default style sheet. Okay, now that I've done that, I actually have a new snippet to use. Let's go ahead and use it a couple times to see how swift and easy this is. Here is my um, list of collateral that you can see right there. I'm going to go ahead and drag it after this and I'm going to drag it after this. It's just that simple. Um, snippets can be shared across the project by several people. They also can contain user-defined variables and other useful information. This concludes our demonstration.